Today, I'm going to talk about what it takes to become a GM. There is one secret ingredient that uh, I had and a lot of uh, my competitors who didn't become a GM didn't have. Uh, one of them was maybe the last to spend all that time on chess. But another thing is what I call the secret sauce. And it's, it's not a very interesting source, but nevertheless, if you're dreaming of becoming a GM, it is essential. Um, you, we can start by looking at the position on the board. We will get back to that. Just memorize it. And uh, it's black to play. We are black. We have turned the board around. And uh, this is, well, a part of the secret source of how to become a GM. I prepared some some slides for today. Um, first, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about so we get into the right mindset about what this is about. Uh, if you are running outside and um, and you are overtaking by someone who runs faster than you, what's most likely? Is it raining or is it sunshine? Is it raining or is it sunshine? What would you say? Uh, my uh, experience is it's raining because uh, that's when the real serious runners are out running when, uh, while our, the amateurs runners are a little bit like me. Uh, we are not running uh, in, in the rain. We say, ah, it's raining today. I'll run tomorrow when it's, when it's sunny, right? Um, and that's part of the difference. It's uh, what I'll call showing up. But I'm changing the scene. Uh, I hope you have memorized the position. We will get back to it. And um, this is the starting side of the road to the GM title. Uh, of course, the road to the GM title is fraught with results and frustrations and improving and playing a lot. Most people learn by playing and that's the easy way to learn. That is when you're sitting, you're in the now and you're focusing on the board, trying to find the best moves and you are really doing excellent practice. That's how most play players become good at chess and become interested in chess. But at some point in your career, that's not enough. Just playing is not enough. You have to do work. And, uh, and, and a lot of players are very motivated to do work. They say, okay, I need some openings. I need to know something about uh, uh, endings. Uh, I, know I need to know middle game tactics and things like that. So they start working. The thing is what really differentiates um, the, the real strong players from the next one is who will make it and why. And, um, and when I was... Uh, 22, uh, I had a lot of competitors in Denmark uh, who were already IMs, and I was not an IM when I was 22. Uh, so it's not necessary to become a, a GM at 12 to become uh, a strong player, uh, even though I could have maybe become stronger if I had gotten that title at that time. Anyway, uh, but none of them, I think there were five or six IMs at my age, and uh, and I was the la I think the last one. But none of them became GMs. Of course, one of the reasons why they didn't become GMs is because they didn't want to become GMs. Well, maybe they wanted, but they didn't want it bad enough. So they also wanted to finish their studies, uh, go and have a job, uh, maybe get a wife or a man, and have some children and uh, live a normal uh, life. And I sort of chose another way for, for that. Um, but the, the real thing, because someone also wanted to be a company, is why didn't they make it? What is it uh, that, that's, uh, that's different? And, and, and where it, the thing is, the motivation when you are, is, when this motivation is high, everybody works very well. Everybody is putting in the work, the job, they're doing their best effort. It's when the motivation is low or the results are not showing, that's when you need to show in and show up and do the work. Uh, so the bad practice is actually where the real magic happens. Uh, when you're having a great training session and you're saying, oh man, I got this. Uh, it's not that everybody will have that. Uh, the thing is, when you don't feel like it, but you still do it, and it's not really good, and you don't, and you feel very frustrated, but you still 
got in there and did the job and you kept going at it and it was boring and it was hard and th this is what really distinguished the strongest players from from the rest is when it was boring they kept going they just kept going they didn't needed motivation they were they were motivated enough to say okay this is really boring this is really hard and i don't get it and everybody's getting it and it's so frustrating but i'll keep going and this is the secret sauce so showing up and keep showing up and then of course don't plateau if you're at stuck at some point uh, and you just can't get any further you need to do something else something different you need to train in a different way you need to find a way to find that sweet spot where you're doing what we call deliberate practice in uh, this uh, book by james clear atomic habits i just read very good book by the way uh, he, he says that this um, this sort of uh, deliberate practice happens between system one and system two and people who read Kane Man will know what I'm talking about. So this is what it's all about. Uh, when I'm at the moment, I'm this is one of the few things I'm good at. I never was very talented in anything. I'm probably uh, reasonably intelligent, but I'm not super smart in any way at all with anything. The, and I realized whatever I became good at, I showed up and I kept showing up and I didn't plateau when I was frustrated. I kept going through it, and and that's the the uh, the secret thing. At the moment, I'm trying to get into shape. I was in uh, my summer residence um, with some good friends, and uh, it was football, uh, the European Cup. Denmark uh, made, it, made it to the semifinals, um, and of course, <laughs> I I don't like wine. I love wine. So we had a lot of wine at the, the summer residence, but I also promised myself two things. Um, that is, I would run every second day, six and a half kilometers, and uh, I would uh, do meditation every day. And uh, despite having, well, sort of a hangover half the days, uh, I still managed to show up and kept showing up and not saying, oh, the sun is shining and we could just sit in the sun and read a book. No, no, I had to run those smiles even though my head was a little bit fuzzy. So this is the thing that's about when it's hard, you keep going. When you're going through hell, just keep going, as Churchill said. So this is the, the basic the thing. You keep working, 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 and when it's very bored, you say, okay, that's when the quitters give up. And this is when I will keep going, right? Okay, let's get back to what this was we began with was, uh, of course, chess. Um, and we had this scene. I'll get back into it here. And uh, I'm black against Alexander Unushuk. It's uh, in 2006 in the Olympiad in Turin. Uh, Unichuk was a very strong uh, grandmaster, originally from U the Ukraine, uh, immigrated to the US. Um, and I've been uh, defending for a long time. Uh, we came from, uh, from something like this, this position where he had uh, F and H, which is a draw, uh, till we got to this position, which is also a draw if I find the right move. By the way, it was one of the last games to finish and uh, a lot of uh, famous grandmasters were standing by watching this uh, as it unfolded. Uh, so, back to move here. And this is the part of this, it's boring, it's hard, it's difficult, you have to keep going. Uh, I had one minute, so you have one minute uh, from now, I'll time you. and. Um, and finding the right move at this uh, point because this is something you need to know somehow you you need to know wha what is what is this um, and at this point i made a mistake um, i made the very obvious move uh, the, the the key thing is usually you should give a lot of the checks the key thing is the rook is on uh, this square uh, which is defending the pawn so uh, I played this move and that's loses um, check and he went to f8 and the problem is of course king g6 f7 check oops so rook a8 rook e8 and already we see the problem um, and it's winning it's the lucena position he will uh, 
he will win this from here. So what to do here in this position? Um, instead of rook a8, I have to play. I have to play rook a8, and now it's just a draw. Uh, the king will, uh, will 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 get back into the game and. Um, and it will be a draw. Uh, I will not start checking unless until um, something happens. Um, and he, I can always give it check if he goes here. I can always, um, I can just go to h6, I think, of rook b1, um, and something like this. Then I can play some. Then this is probably rather easy uh, draw and. So if he goes here, I managed to get back. So Rook A8 was a rather easy draw. It's not easy when you don't have much time and um, and you are in sort of in yeah well under pressure. You're tired and so on. But also I didn't know the very the the ending well enough. So I had to go home and study this, even though it's very boring. And even though I have studied many times before, I still had to go home and study this position. And I probably, since I'm, I, I'm feeling a little bit insecure while I'm showing you this at the moment, I think I'll probably have to, to, to study it again. And this is, this is the secret sauce of the GM. You have to really, really, really want to understand this crap. You really say, okay, I really need to understand this. I have to understand it, and it's boring. And I even have to understand it at the unconscious competence level, where I can reproduce this without any kind of problems, um, whenever I need to. So this is um, well, this is it, uh, folks. This is the secret sauce. Is when it's the 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 real strong athletes the real strong players the real who have real success it's when it gets boring they keep going they're not they don't need motivation to keep going they just said okay this is part of it i have to accept okay it's boring yes i understand that but i will keep going Okay, thank you for watching. This was GM Talks, and I of course uh, imagine you have all subscribed by now by this.